Dear learners, welcome to the session on T.S. Eliot's Religion and Literature. In this essay, published in the year 1935, Eliot tells us of the story of the alliance of religion and literature. Eliot speaks of the application of our religion to the criticism of any literature, and he applies religion to literature defined as works of imagination in three ways. First, he says that when we describe a text as religious literature, we mean that it comes from the pen of those women and men blessed with the gift of language which pleases the readers who are not concerned with the writer's objective. In this sense, religious literature is not different from historical literature or scientific literature. Second, Eliot asserts that religious literature often manifests itself as religious or devotional poetry. And this kind of poetry is minor poetry. Eliot claims that its focus seems narrow as it isolates issues of religious spirit at the expense of what men consider their major passions. Finally, certain kinds of religious literature are forms of propaganda. By propaganda, Eliot means the literary works of men who are sincerely desirous of forwarding the cause of religion. Eliot holds that religion and literature may best be seen as autonomous yet connected subjects or areas of inquiry. Eliot says that since the common ground between religion and fiction is behavior, we should read ethically and theologically. Eliot opines that we read fiction because it affects us as entire human beings. Human life is fiction's only theme.